And we begin tonight with new information about the cleanup at Grand Lake St. Mary's. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. The EPA lays out its plan for funding and for turning that situation around. Sonu Wasu has just returned from Auglaize in Mercer Counties. She's live with what residents think about the plan. Sonu? Well, Mark, we got a mixed reaction. Some were glad the state was finally taking action. Others felt it was a little too late. It's the state's largest inland lake, a local treasure, and now... Abandoned. You know, people aren't using what we have. Abandoned because of signs like these, strongly advising residents to stay out of the water. Testing shows high levels of bacteria that can cause serious nerve and liver damage. Health officials say the waters are not fit for swimming, boating, or fishing. Because it's dirty and nasty and it smells bad. Marinas are shutting down as boats are moving out. We also saw several for sale signs planted outside homes along the lake. It is sad. It's very sad. So the state has announced its plan to date, committing almost $7 million to try and improve these waters. Some of the ideas include applying aluminum sulfate to the water. That should help capture and pull phosphorus to the bottom of the lake. The move will help kill the bacteria. But some residents wonder if that's enough. It's not going to help, <laughs> to be honest with you. Why do you Because, well, that? they talked about at, when the governor was there, it was going to be like 500 and sub million if they wanted to dredge it out, and that's really not a cure. Mm -hmm. They said they didn't have a cure for the lake. Environmental officials believe the problem got out of hand because of waste draining into the waters from local farms. The green stuff in here building up for decades. They warn it's not going to go away in a day. While some remain hopeful... I'm happy to see that they're finally doing something. Others feel this treasure is gone. Gone. Dead. Yeah. Right at all. My dad said to fill it full of dirt. <laughs> The state has waived park fees in an effort to try and get tourists back to the state park, but they're still trying to warn you not to touch the water. It is very toxic. Reporting live, Sonu Wasu, 2 News on your side. And speaking of